Good to see you. It's been a while. Yes, it's been a while. Good to see you. Now, how's the family? You've had you've had more kids. How many kids do you have now? I got three kids. Okay. I have a 26 year old mm -hmm. and a 12 year old boy. 26 year old is a girl. 10 year old uh, girl and a 12 year old boy. Oh, okay. So a little, took a little break there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, took a little time of, off. Oh gosh, look at the time flying. <laughs> yeah, well, like, so wow, okay. So, but that like, there's ten years between myself and my brother. So actually, that's not that unusual to me. But. Yeah, same with uh, my sisters. They were eight and ten years older. Right, right. Yeah, and of course we were all planned. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, well, I, I can't tell you what my father said about that because this is daytime television. Right. But yes, I we were not planned. Yeah, yeah not planned. <laughs> Now, any signs that the children are going the jackass route? Has the gene uh, literally fallen from the tree? Well, and luckily, hit them in the head. Yeah. <laughs> luckily, my daughters, that gene didn't get passed down to them. They're so you know, girls are just smarter than boys, yeah. and I don't have to worry about them. But my son is just like my father. So he's yeah. got that funny look in his eye, and yeah. yeah, so I have to worry about Rocco. Both pupils in the same yeah. eye? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, we shouldn't have named him Rocco, you know. Oh, is that his name, Rocco? Yeah. Yeah. No, why Rocco? That, that's an old-fashioned name. My dad was, like, in his 40s when I was born, but his best friend when he was a kid was a guy named Rocco. That's the only Rocco I ever knew. Why Rocco? I just, we just love that name, you know? It is like an old throwback, tough guy name. Right, right. So, so yeah, we like Gee, it. Gee, hard to believe a kid is going the same route. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. We should have named him Murray from accounting yeah, or Murray, something. Yeah, Murray, yeah. Murray is a good, nice, <laughs> solid name. With a, who, who goes, who, who goes to, with Rocco? Well, you have Hitman, that's available. <laughs> Uh, and Lefty is probably taken. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, but Rocco just seems like, you know, somebody that would be in the Barzini family, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. Like a, you know, one of those kind of Working deals. with Clemenza. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> now, as you were growing up, did the children know what Daddy did, or did they think you were in, in insurance sales or something? Yeah, they didn't know what I did. Right. Right? Um, so it was to the point where Rocco, he was like six or seven, right. and we're sitting down for dinner one night, and he just blurts out, jackass. And we're like, whoa. It, it, seemed, it seemed like there was a secret we were keeping from him. Right, I guess his right. buddies at school had told him something about it, and we'd never brought it up. Because Gee, how I did they figure that out, huh? <laughs> Gosh. I didn't want him to see it, right? Right. Until he's much older. Right. So, Like what, 35? Yeah, yeah. 35, yeah. you know. So I had to tell him that Dad has a silly show where he does pranks and stunts, and but now is that what you said? Dad has a silly show where he does. It's so funny how you justify stuff to kids. Because when you <laughs> before the kid, hey, I'm doing. I hit the guy with a bottle and then he right, threw it. Right, right. And I, the cops chased me and I punched the cop. Well, we had a funny thing with the police. You know, <laughs> I, mean, I, like, I like how you water it down. Yeah, there's a lot of tomfoolery. A lot of tomfoolery. Yeah, Jim Crackery. Yes, yeah, that type of thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So. So now, was your son shocked to learn that their dad was an idiot? <laughs> <laughs> well, he was disappointed, but he wasn't surprised Right, yet. right, okay, <laughs> all right. Because he knew, oh, the gene, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I think it's cool that you produce, write, and do these movies yourself. I yes. mean, uh, it's crazy stuff, but crazy like a fox, because you, you're pretty much the whole movie company, aren't you? So. Well, me and my partners, Spike Jones and Jeff Tremaine, we all do it. Right, ourselves. but you know what I mean? It's one yeah. of these things where Warner Brother gets 2% and somebody other studio gets 9%. You know what I mean? Those things. So, so you can pretty much, you know where all the money goes. It, yeah, if you're going to wreck yourself, you might as well get paid for it. Right, right. Exactly, <laughs> you know? exactly, exactly, exactly. Okay, so what, what can we expect? I know we can expect to see this movie. <laughs> <laughs> but, but tell me some more. Um, oh, my goodness. Well, there's fun with bulls. There's always a bull. Right. Um, it's probably the worst bull hit I've ever taken. Spent really? Spent weekend in the hospital. Um, so no bull. Yeah, no bull, bull. You yeah. know what? Uh, yeah, um, okay. yeah, everything you see is real. That's what one thing we have on our side in the Jackass movies. It's all, it's the truth. Well, and see, that's a good, because in most Hollywood films, there'd be a stunt, stunt man or a sensible person doing some sort of CGI. Right. You actually kill the people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, we, yeah. we wreck yeah. the guys. They don't right. know what's coming right. when they walk on set. So by the end of the film, they're suffering right. from PTSD. They are like, right. you can walk up behind someone and just put your finger on their shoulder and they'll go down. Right, just yeah. because, it, yeah. They're in terror. <laughs> now, 
I, did I, you come from a family? I'd like to say I feel bad, but I don't. <laughs> was, was, was your dad a prankster? I mean, is, oh my it, goodness. is this where it came from? My dad owned a tire shop. Right. And he was more interested in pranking his employees right. than running the shop. Right. He would make them X lax milkshakes. He would. X lax milkshakes. Yes, yeah. yes. He, for, as some kind of a reward. Uh, he also. He got in trouble for this with, uh, I don't know if it was the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation or the FBI. He would send out uh, letters from the IRS to his buddies saying they're about to be audited and they have to get all their papers together. And, like, people really freaked out. You know, you don't want, no, no one wants don't. that letter. And they take that stuff. See, when I was a kid for, for Christmas one year, my parents gave me a printing set where you could make little, you know, you can put the letters and make your own stamps. Right. And I, I made one that said FBI top secret. You know? <laughs> so I, I put it on, I put it on, I wrote a letter to my dad and put it on the, I stamped it and put a stamp on it. And I went down the post office and threw it on the floor to see what would happen. About three days later, Black sedan comes in, FBI guy, postal guy, Miss Leno, uh, Ms. Uh, letter from the FBI. We did not want to open it. It says top secret. My father goes, top secret? And then he, really, oh. he knew that was my thing. <laughs> How he old goes, were you when you did that? Oh, I had 12, 13. That's you know. pretty great. Oh, yeah. And, and my parents were like, oh, my dad was furious. Oh, yeah, you got in trouble. Miss Leno, we didn't want to open it. It says FBI. <laughs> but we found the letter on the floor of the post office. We don't know how that could have happened. We apologize. You know, they're apologizing. Right, for right. My dad's top secret letter. Oh, man. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, that was pretty good. That's pretty, pretty good. good. So did your dad have a crew like you do? Did he have a... a, a <laughs> oh, a, boy, a, did he. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's Big Sam, Big George. George, uh, ass kicking Robert. I don't know if you can say that, uh, but they can. Well, if it's a legal name. Yes, it was. His, it was on you his could driver's call license. AK Roberts. <laughs> yeah, and my favorite was a guy named Woodrow Wilson Boxcar Johnson Jr. He was a tire groover at the uh, tire shop. In. A tire groover? Yeah, because he dad sold retreads. Oh, those are so the, illegal now. Yeah, yeah, you, know yeah. what you know what they used to do? You'd get a bald tire yeah. that somebody was throwing away. Then you'd get a hot gun. Yeah. And you would, you would carve. Regroove. You, you'd carve tread into it so it looked like, oh, look, there's plenty of tread left in this tire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but there was barely any. Oh, there's nothing. That yeah, was yeah. Boxcar's yeah, job. Yeah. So, and, and then I would paint. I would get to go to the shop sometimes, and after you groove them, you would paint them black to make them look oh, right, brand new. Right. So I would get to do that sometimes. It's always important to have good role models for Charlie. <laughs> and I think oh, boxcar is, is the best. It's good to see that this is you got AK and boxcar and yeah, yeah. Now normally in a family like this, there'd be a female influence like a mom who is a sensible one. I'm assuming that probably didn't take place either. Or was your mom the sensible one? Mom was probably more of a wild card than my father. Really? Yeah. I mean, she was super loving and, and, and nurturing, but she, she had a little uh, switch where it would go off. Like I think that's th called a screw loose medical <laughs> term. The medical term, medical term is a screw loose. That's me yeah. trying to put things right, nicely right. again. Nicely, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when, there was a big gang fight uptown once, and she <laughs> had my younger sister. I wasn't even born yet. She had my sister's. We were probably 10 and 12 in the back right. of the car, and there was a big gang fight, chains, everything. These guys were going at it. And mom sees this happen, and she drives right in the middle of the gang fight, and she gets out of the car. She's like, you boys are acting ugly. You stop that right now. And they were, those guys were so confused that this woman had driven in the middle of the gang fight, beep, beeping on her horn. With two they, kids in the back. Yeah, yeah. and she, they were like, and they just kind of dropped their chains and walked away. <laughs> She's crazier than we are. Yeah. You know, I'm beginning to understand Johnny more now that we talk. <laughs> Finding the reasons why things are the way they are. Yeah, all right. Your real name is not Johnny Knoxville, right? That's how to... Philip John Clapp. Philip John Clapp. Clapp, yeah. Now, was that, was that based on... Yeah, I know. I get it. Is My it... letterman jacket said Clapp on the back. Yeah. And when I wore that to the mall... You know, I heard it. Okay, this is not based on a condition that you had. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, okay. And where was Is this in Kentucky? Uh, Tennessee. Tennessee, hard to believe. Yeah, who yeah. knew? <laughs> who knew? I mean, who expects something like that in Tennessee?